Hi everyone, uh, today we have a discussion about the data augmentation techniques. What do you mean by a data augmentation? So it is a crucial technique in deep learning algorithms for improving the performance. This is the original image. It can be transformed into many forms. So that is the purpose of the data augmentation. Expanding the size of the training set by creating modified data from the already existing one. Then there are various types of augmentation number one is image augmentation how image augmentation is done by using geometric transformation in geometric transformations we have a classifications of rotation translation scaling flipping cropping so what do you mean by rotation here we rotating the images by various angles such as 15 degrees 30 degree and 45 degree then translations during translation we can shift the images horizontally or vertically by a few pixels that can help the model learn the features that are invariant to position within the image. Scaling. So it helps to resize the images that helping the model generalize to objects of different sizes. Then flipping. So horizontal flippings can be particularly useful for symmetric objects like face of vehicles. Then vertical flips are less common but can be useful in certain contexts. Then cropping. Here it helps focus on various regions of interest where specific parts are important such as medical images processing. Color and light adjustments. Here in brightness and contrast adjustment it varies the brightness and contrast that stimulates different lighting conditions. So then hue saturation adjustment so here we can altering the color or saturation changes that the distribution of the color present in the image so this is useful for training the model that need to be performed well across different color settings then gaussian noise so adding a random noise to images that can make the model robust to noisy inputs such as when we are using capturing the image with a low quality camera then image synthesis here in mixing up here we combining two images and label them into a single image in cut out we are masking out random sections of the image forces the model to focus on the remaining parts so during the cut mix it combining patches from different images into a new image and adjusting the labels other remaining types of affine transformation and elastic transformation so this includes skewing and other linear transformations also it stimulates non-rigid deformations this is a, an example of geometric transformation it is a original image three digit image here we are doing a horizontal flip and the padding and cropping padding means adding values then cropping we crop the image and this rotating the image. Color space transformations also possible. Original image means these are various types of color space transformation we can do. Then mixing up of images. As it is the image of a cat and it is the image of a dog, we can combine them into a new image. The next type is text data augmentation. So in text data augmentation, here we are having various classification. The number one is synonym replacement. We are substituting words with their synonyms using resources like wordnet that help create variations of text. So then random insertion. Here we are adding random words or phrases into the text that help the model handle various language styles. Then random deletions. Here we are randomly deleting the words from text simulates incomplete information. Text generation. So for generating a text we are translating the text to another language then back to original language that introduced variations in word while maintaining the original meaning so then paraphrasing so with the original version we generate new type of words then data synthesis so here we are having generative models like gpt which means generative pre trained transformer or bidirectional encoder representation from transformer can generate new text this data is the audio based augmentation so in audio based augmentation we have a time based transformation so here we are changing the pitch of audio recordings without affecting the durations and then 
time stretching so we are adjusting the speed or duration of the audio without changing the pitch adding noise so adding a background noise always helps the model become more robust to various recording environments and real world noise conditions so then shifting and cropping here we shifting the audio signals in time that helps the model handle variations in start time or delays in recordings then cropping the audio segments that helps focus on different parts of recording then audio effects so while applying the effects like reverb and echo that stimulates different acoustic environments helping the model that generates better across different recording settings example for data augmentation techniques for audio data here we can insert a noise then we can shifting the data then changing the speed of the tape what will be the purpose of this data augmentation with having the data sets after doing data augmentation we can have a enlargement in the data set that helps to improve the performance of the model and also it prevents overfitting of data there are various types of data that can be used for augmentation audio text images and other formats the flow of data augmentation so so we are having the data sets training set data and after augmentation we can have a enlarged form of data then we validating the data set then perform test and evaluation in that data set we have to use data augmentation so when we are having only a small amount of data and when we have a very complex problem to solve then the transformation would be effective and easy one then you have to know find the correct method for your data then have a strategy of dealing with this data well these are the main applications so classifying the images then recognizing the speech and classification of sound then text generation and the classification of the text so in which fields it must be more useful means the research scientific research medical fields the human computer interaction and the understanding the emotions of human these are some task in nlp translation of language then speech recognition or text to speech then classification of text then analysis of syntax and the semantics generation of text and the management of the dialogue uh, this is on another example so we have we are having a data sets of uh, movie reviews we are having a positive and negative review uh, data augmentation by creating a model with a circuit plan then process the data then splitting the data into training and data set doing the data augmentation with the help of nlp then apply the classifier random forest classifier to evaluate the model augmentations the examples by cropping scaling and artistic filters weather blur rotation these are some uh, merits and demerits of data augmentation this is a very implementation part is very easy but uh, it consumes lot of time it is a tailored approach method and there is no change in the model and uh, here most probably it is a trial and error method we don't know for which application it will be more suitable and performance boost it is easy to measure but there is some relationship gap that's between the data and the newly generated augmented data it can help with overfitting we have in performed the data augmentation process correctly it can lead to overfitting also Thank you for watching the video i hope you understand the concepts of data augmentation meet you in the next video till then it's goodbye from vijay